Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do a book review of The Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb which is the second trilogy in the Tale of the Elderlings 16 book series. So I'm going to be, uh, sorry I'll give you a bit of a description of what the book is about. So wizard wood is the most precious commodity in the world coming only from the rain wild but only a live ship which is a boat that can like talk and has a personality can negotiate this waters of the rain will wild river and live ships are hard to come by the live ship vivacia is about to undergo her quickening aletha vestrit waits for the ship that she loves more than anything in the world to awaken but her dreams of taking her father's place is not to be for her family have other plans so this book is about this family it's uh, who own this live ship and the father who has been running the ship for most of his life passes away from ill health and then we focus on the children, the sisters, the sister's children, the grandmother and the sister's husband-in-law and their children and basically the conflicts between them and this live ship and where that leads in this massive 850 page book. There is a couple of different perspectives for other characters who aren't related to this uh, family which is very interesting. You have a pirate captain and called Kenneth and he was my favourite character in the entire book um, because he's just a, he's a very morally grey character um, which I enjoyed from the first Law trilogy when I was reading it. But anyway, to be honest, it was hard to start this book after reading the first uh, the first trilogy, the Assassin's Apprentice, Assassin's Apprentice, Robin Hobb and Assassin, um, sorry, Assassin's Apprentice, Royal Assassin and Assassin's Quest, um, because I became very, very connected to Fitz and the Fool and all those characters and I know the next trilogy after this is back to them, so I think a lot of people agree that there's very much temptation to skip this. Was I wrong? Yes, this book was amazing the first couple of hundred pages were a bit slow but it was amazing character work which robin hobb is obviously known for so if you love character work then you'll love this book then once all the setup had been done in this book it really hit off it really started going and it's just it didn't feel like a 900 uh, 850 page book by the end because you just wanted it to keep going so I have a lot of interesting things to think about when it comes to my ranking of of this entire series by the end because this one might have been better than some of the one like might have been better than I don't know I don't want to say it yet I need to read them all to make a formal opinion on the rankings which I will be doing by the end but not much not many major events happen in this book it's kind of just they're living their lives and the events that come with living the lives that they live on the sea um, and you know traditions and agreements that have been made with other families you know those things can happen there's no end of the world crisis or um, major battles or anything it's all on the sea it's all about these families and the towns that they visit and the mistakes that they make so you kind of need to accept that if you want to read this book do I think you need to have read the first trilogy to have read this book i don't think so i think i think you could actually start with this book um which is a good thing if you want to if you want to change it about the way you start the series um this was very addictive by the end and i think i'm going to give this book an 8 out of 10. i, I loved it i really want to read the second one right now but i'm going to pace myself um, i think i'll have read this trilogy by the end of the year um and maybe the first one of the Fitz and the Fool trilogy. I'll have to say, just couldn't depend on what else I want to read and university at the moment. But anyway, I ramble on. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you've read The Ship of Magic, comment below to let me know what you thought. I'll reply and we can discuss it there. If I've convinced you to maybe read this book, then that's great as well. And I'll see you all in the next one.